It's the biggest one day race of the year for cyclists and photographers and the media. It's a crazy day where anything can happen and always does happen. And it's a, it's a great, great day out, it's fun, one big adventure. I saw Paris Bay in 1981. I actually uh, cycled from uh, uh, my house near London down to the Dover, I took the boat across the channel and then rode from the Port of Calais to uh, watch the race come almost just before Roubaix itself. And I took a black and white picture of Moser on his own, you know, riding to victory. And it wasn't a great picture, but it means an awful lot to me because I, you know, pedalled with my bicycle with my little camera in my camera bag and took this picture and then rode all the way back to Calais. So that was 81 and uh, so every year since. We come down the day before for all the meetings and get all the paperwork and everything else sorted. So on the day itself, it's really just a question of you know walking out of bed and into the square and uh, just you know familiarise yourself with, it, with who's riding the race, who's there. Um, you tend to photograph the bikes as well because they put special little gadgets on for the day. And it's also a way of relaxing because you can start taking pictures, then you actually relax a little bit. You don't get so nervous. But it's very challenging, a lot can go wrong, which luckily it never does, but it can go wrong, um, depending on the weather. Your, your equipment's very, very fragile, very exposed. You just carry everything you need and pray that uh, the weather doesn't turn bad on you. A wet day is dangerous for everybody. It's dangerous for us. Um, so it's a little bit uncomfortable, but the pictures you get are so much more dramatic. And probably a wet day happens every five years, sometimes every six years, so uh, when you get that one wet day every six years you can't complain. My Paris Bay shot probably, there's one I took in 1988 of a breakaway in Paris Bay which had Thomas Wegmuller and Dirk de Mol who actually won the race that day and it's a very, very rare Paris Bay shot where the light is coming very strongly from the side very strong sunshine, and the wind has picked up all the dust in the wake of these cyclists. And it's been used on the cover of several books. Um, it's one I'm very fond of. It's, uh, um, I can't say why I like it so much, but I do. It's just got something in it. Paris Bay is, is, is one race. It's, um, it's, it's lived way beyond its you know, lifespan, really. It's a fantastic day out. Races like Paris Bay wouldn't really be allowed under the rules of our sport this day. It's, um, but because it's had such a fantastic effect on the sport, it's so historical, it's so dramatic. Uh, I think um, you know they'll try and maintain it for another hundred years at least. Mm -hmm.